hello my viewers uh, welcome to this tutorial channel and this time i'm back with a new and exciting superb tutorial which is regarding to photoshop cc 2014 and in this tutorial i'm going to tell you about how to produce a fantastic photograph out of an actually underexposed one so i'm i'm telling you how to properly expose an underexposed photograph thing is i am in photography from since uh, maybe around six years so i knew i know uh, some of the things i can do within photoshop itself so um, i think i can tell you how i do what i do uh, to expose properly expose the photograph which i accidentally took uh, in underexposed conditions so without any further ado uh, let go to the tutorial so we are right in uh, Photoshop in this photograph you can see that it is uh, much more underexposed as uh, you can see well, there is a lot of darks inside the photograph and uh, you can see the histogram on the right part you can see the histogram is um, going towards the dark area which is the darks are clipped out and of course on the right part you can see a small line a small part of the whites are clipped out clipped out also because uh, this the sky in the photograph is too much bright see the sky part uh, that is too much bright so um, what we need to do is we need to balance out uh, the histogram so that the whites and the blacks will be uh, equally even uh, and then we will get uh, a perfect picture so right now I'm going to make a background copy of the picture that's how I do it um, so that I won't accidentally get uh, altered the actual photograph then I go to the filter and take the camera row filter you have to use the camera row filter in CC 2014 and you will get this picture inside that and you can see the histogram it's the blacks are clipped out and the white is also so uh, when you click that button you can see where the blacks are overexposed that means the blacks are coming out so we need to make that uh, come to low side and then um, when you click the whites you can see where the whites are overexposed so we need to make adjustments to that also uh, so uh, we work with the histogram we adjust the colors inside the photograph we get to see the whole details that the darks are covering up so uh, right now I'm uh, coming to the exposure system and uh, just a bit of uh, exposure I need to make the change you can see uh, the histogram is moving towards the right side so if I go for that uh, you know the, the the exposure is going to be over the photo is going to be overexposed so that's not going going to do anything good for us so I don't want that to happen so uh, let me go back and you know slightly adjust the exposure according to the situations uh, yeah that's uh, then right now I'm uh, getting the contracts low down and you can see the contracts contrast is going way down and uh, the mid tones are going up still the whites are there so i need to play with the whites also but i don't want uh, the contrast that much low but i'll tweak it later so right now i am uh, keeping an eye on the highlights that's the whites that are clipped out so when i uh, slide the highlight slider you can see uh, in the histogram the whites are moving away see that uh, blue uh, you know cyan kind of color so that's uh, getting adjusted with when I uh, use the shadows also so when I uh, try to lower the shadows uh, the shadows will go up in the histogram that means I have to go to the right side and now I am tweaking a bit with the whites also when I go the go to the right you can see the white is clipped out so I'm kind of adjusting to the white and uh, let me see yeah that is great uh, there is no uh, issues there so right now I'm in the black so I'm kind of uh, tweaking with whites blacks highlights and shadows uh, just to make the picture perfectly correct and just a bit of clarity and vibrance also to boost up the colors as you can see the photograph is really 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 better and see the histogram itself there is no blacks clipping out there is no whites clipping out the picture is uh, so somewhat uh, 
came to life it's really an underexposed photo just because of that i have i will have very much limitations uh, in uh, developing it because you know but we have to do it now it's somewhat uh, good i guess we can't use the uh, contrast anymore because that will blow up all the details in the background right around that tree uh temperature i'm kind of playing with the temperature because i need a white balance because i showed it i showed this uh, photograph in the evening time i need a temperature uh suitable for that time and let me blow up the highlights a bit because the whites are firing up and uh, i can't use whites that much and just fire the blacks let me see uh, can i get something right there okay the clarity vibrance all are good saturation i don't i i i just need a bit because uh you know i don't want to overly saturate the photograph so right now you can see the the picture how much change is from the actual picture see that so this is after and this is before so after and you see before that's how it done so uh this was the tutorial about uh maintaining or developing you are under exposed photographs and in the dark so you can see there is no details in the background but uh uh you can see literally you can see some some of the details in the background uh when you uh develop the photograph in perfect perfectly exposed uh, circumstances so uh this is just a quick tutorial uh in how to uh develop an under exposed photograph uh, to a perfectly exposed uh, condition I think you uh, get the point uh, I guess you are happy with the tutorial uh, if you're not or if you are you comment on the you comment in the uh, you comment in the youtube and I'll get you if you have any doubts I'll clearly uh, reply to that and thanks for watching and I'll be back with more tutorials see ya